this is um, I did this on the 2nd of September after work and so technically today is 19 so it is completely healed I guess when I tried to change the ball but it was so screwed tightly and I can't really pull it out and change it into a shorter one well I guess I have to go to ethic piercing ethic piercing oh my god what am I doing um and let them do it for me yeah I think I'm gonna get something like a diamond looking kind of bar I guess maybe it would be much easier to put it out later on I know I'm like looking at the, the side but it's just because I'm not looking at the camera because um, you know, I'm taking video through my phone um, so this is me I, I don't really usually talk into camera I don't do the talking usually I'm not really good at talking or is me trying to get out from my comfort zone so uh, there was me if it's awkward but um, whatever it is 2020 um, at the age of 35 I'm turning 36 this year and um, I did my librette and also my hmm, tongue piercing as well at the age of this year because it was so um, challenging year and somehow nobody's allowed to travel anywhere and I feel like I need to do something um, and something really uh, makes me want to do it. And I know like a lot of people may not like it, but you can't make everybody's happy. What's more important is like you try your best to make yourself happy. And um, yeah. Yeah. I don't really know what I'm mumbling about, but it's just there with me. Well, technically, I wanted to show um, the videos or any photos um, from the day that I did my piercing, but it's just that when the first one I did right after the MCOs lifted, I mean the lockdown lifted in Malaysia. I quickly make my booking for my tongue piercing and I I did it at Attic Lux in uh, Fahrenheit 88 um, what is it in Kiel but um, I was I went there alone and I don't have anyone to take a video for me so and I it was a little bit hard to do it yourself and also somehow on that day um, my tongue was shaking uh, I wasn't I wasn't nervous to be honest but it just somehow shakes because my hands are normally shakes anyway I mean all my life but I never realized because I never stick my tongue out before so you never know what happens so the piercer he's so good that he tried to calm me down I said I'm not nervous I'm quite excited because I, mean, I was waiting for it like for a few months because we were like under lockdown we weren't allowed to go out so I was so excited and I wasn't nervous to be honest but somehow my tongue was shaking like this. If you really look closely, it's like really like shaking. So he thought I'm nervous. I'm like, nope. <laughs> Uh, 
um, pain level, I was expecting it to be painful because it wasn't actually my first intention to do tongue piercing. I wasn't really keen to do it. I was actually, I wanted to opt for librette actually for the first time, but then I, some one of my friends said I might as well just do tongue because it's supposed to be the least painful. So I got that kind of encouragement. So yes, I did. So when it happened, when, when he really pierced through the needles into my tongue, I was quite surprised that I don't actually feel anything. Um, <laughs> so I was really happy with it, with the outcome, and I was actually intended to do um, belly piercing as well, but somehow because uh, it wasn't advised because of the, I don't know, my type of belly is not suitable to do a belly piercing, it could have some reject, it will reject um, somehow, so... So that's not gonna happen so yeah and it took um, for me my tongue piercing took only like four days to stop swelling four days and it, it's just that it's hard for me to swallow things and I was having all those liquids liquid food yogurt um, milk I mean, I know some people said that you shouldn't drink milk after, you know, you did any piercing, but somehow it, it's okay with, with me. Um, and I wasn't, I, I thankfully, I my appetite wasn't that good um, that period, so I wasn't really eating that much. So, yeah. And the swelling toned down, like, after the third day, and the pain, it wasn't really pain, I don't know what to say. Because it's swollen, so it's just making it hard for you to to um, do things that you used to do um, while eating. And so it's a bit difficult because of the swelling actually. Because you need to really get used to having something on your mu inside your mouth. Um, yeah. And it completely healed like on the fifth day. But still, I've been careful. Um, take care of what I eat. I mean, really, how to say, look into what I'm eating and try not to do anything so that could lead to any pain or another swelling. So, um,. Yeah, somehow it goes good with me. And then for my librette, um, I did it because of a certain incident that happened to me emotionally. Oh On the 2nd of September, um, or technically 1st of September, I did the booking online through Attic Piercing's uh, website. So, the, I booked it for the next day, so my session was after work um, on the 2nd of September. So without any doubt, I straight away went, went to Wan Utama, to Attic Piercing Shop. If I'm not mistaken, is that in a, is it Oling? Oling level 1, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. And, um, they were so good, it took like a few seconds um, and I just was, that's it. <laughs> at the time, I was at the time that I feel, I was expecting a little bit of pain because it was like, you know, here, um, it wasn't, it, maybe you know, the lady was so, so experienced and she just like, okay, <laughs> two seconds and you just screw it and that's it. And she screw it so tightly, I can't even like pull it out. 
Moderator Fina buat tak keluar sikit. Hmm? Moderator Fina buat tak keluar sikit. Hmm. Tapi dia ada akan bengkak lah. Biasanya bengkak. Tengok you punya skin hmm. juga. Hmm. Okay. And I really want to show everyone like how it looks like from the inside. So that's how it looks like. I really, really want to show everyone how it looks like from the inside. Okay. So technically, there will be like a little bit of round thing inside. How it looks like. Um, it wasn't painful. And this is actually the least painful to be honest to compare with the tongue um yes you feel like you just got a botox on your lips right after the treatment uh, what it, was it treatment um no the, the you know the piercing um but it's <laughs> funny talking to myself mm. yeah and i think it looks nice you know with that you know puffy lips but Anyway, I'm not going to do anything like that, um, for now, at least. Um, so, as you can see, I overdrawn a little bit my lipstick. Just to make it look a little bit puffy. And I like it. I mean, I get certain looks um, everywhere I go. Not, a, not, I mean, technically not everyone. Because, right, like, most of the time we'll be wearing the mask you know so not everybody would be seeing it but if I stop somewhere to eat and you know, I, I notice some people will be like staring and looking around um, and looking at me in a way maybe she they were maybe thinking that I would like mm, with my nail spears and all but anyway nobody said anything weird I guess this is just a phase of my life that I need to do what I feel I want to do uh, so that I don't regret things later on. Um, and I had my piercing was back in 2007, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I did it in Adelaide, Adelaide, Australia, and I was a student back then. And I'm glad I did it. And yeah, at the age of 35, I was wondering why didn't I do the rest, you know, like much earlier. I'm not sure why, but it's better late than never, right? So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Well, if you want to have a look at, you know, the tongue, I, I changed it myself. I didn't, uh, because it's much easier to change it rather than... Uh, the little bread, you know, it's a bit, I don't know, it's still stuck. I tried to like unscrew it, I just can't do it. And I change it into much shorter and it's much more comfortable than the one they gave me earlier because it is much longer and it hit uh, the top of my, you know, what is it called? you know what I mean um, and it moves around more rather than when I after I change into the shorter bar it's much more comfortable and I think that it, and it feels weird when you, you when you take it out it doesn't feel anything but when you want to put it back in it feels weird because it is not like you know like here you can see where the hole is but from your tongue it's a little bit like where is the end you know like it feels weird and you have to be careful otherwise you might hurt your tongue and give a little bit of trauma on it and you might swell so yeah just a precaution on that even to myself so but if I feel like I need help on it then I think it's better if you go to back to the stores um, and let them do it for you um, I think that's about it about my piercing right now. Um, when I love it. I think maybe one day when I become an old, old, old lady, I might get bored of it and I just get rid of it and become a nice, better, 
think I see nice and better. I think it's still nice, you know. Um, probably my, you know what I mean. <laughs> I dropped the phone. Anyway, that's about it for me. And this is sort of my first video that I would try to will I post it on YouTube? I don't know. Will I? <laughs> because I don't really used to having people looking at me um, or listening to me talking. Because when I I would listen back to myself and I find it hideous. <laughs> Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if I know like lots of you know YouTubers that say the same thing anyway. But if you do have, you know, if you want to have more and you want to give me more motivation to, you know, be more confident. <laughs> oh my god. The entire video that it shows how nasty my mask is. Well, it's based on my makeup on. This is powder. I'll stick to my mask. Anyway, so where is it? <laughs> what did I? Oh, what is it? So technically, it is funny. Look, put my lipstick on and all and I just washed it like yesterday and this is how it looks like <laughs> you see when I laugh it stick out because it's a little bit longer than what it should be anyway you see this is how it looks like inside a mask of a female with makeup on you see the stain of lipstick and also the powder on it <laughs> it's funny Oh my god, that's disgusting. Anyway, I'm sure everyone says the same thing. Anyway, right? <laughs>